all right guys what's up man welcome back to the channel man uh if you guys caught the last video the mustang is uh Mm, to be quite honest with you, I don't know where I left off, but the Mustang right now is going through its oiling uh, situation. Uh, yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> I talked about the oiling and what I have to do. I'm currently at the moment I'm at right now is that I'm waiting for uh, Canton Racing product, oil filter relocation, adapter to come. Uh, it's ready to put on. Alternator is off. It's right over there. And uh, the oil cooler, all that stuff uh, deleted, it's off. So when, when that part comes, I'm putting it in and then see what I can do. If I can still run the alternator where it originally goes, then great. <laughs> I can move on to the next thing because oiling will basically be done. And that would be uh, to the cold side piping. But if not, I'm going to have to get an alternator. Relocation kit is going to go right over there. <laughs> and I'll get into it if that happens. But that's where the Mustang is on uh, standby. Everything else is ready to go on. Cooling is situated. That's ready to pop in, ready to go. Transmission lines have been modified. That's ready to pop in. Water housing, which is right there. That has been modified, so that's good. Uh, that's taken care of, okay? So what I'm doing, I'm taking care of the little things while I'm waiting for parts. As you guys seen in some of the intro here, let me get some light over here. This, uh, you know, I got my stainless lines now on here. I'm uh, header wrapping any kind of critical area I, I think is going to be pretty close uh these two headers here which are right underneath here are header wrapped there they're they're pretty close this one is pretty close to water it's not touching it but it's it's pretty close and the good thing is that this has a sheathing a coat to protect it and i got the header wrap now so that kind of reassures me right there so that's good headers are situated and then if you come down to over here this this pipe connects to the uh, passenger side header so what i'm gonna do is since i got my transmission lines coming kind of right over here over this i'm gonna wrap this up here because that's where they're gonna kind of go over this is not really close to anything and then on this side uh this is where the o2 sensor is and the brake lines kind of go around here like i said not touching but uh you know protect it and i did want to have if i had a little bit more uh header wrap which i will get i'll wrap this up but i could do that what's in when it's in uh because the coolant line kind of goes around through here but like i said nothing is touching which is good and uh let me get to it so the first thing uh with header wrap uh what you want to do is not the hardest thing uh usually i wet it uh that's usually what the wet it, it is fiberglass so i would recommend i'm gonna put on my or mask on right now but you know wet it and then you know try to wrap it as tight as you can kind of like electrical tape in a way <laughs> wrap it up and then uh run some stainless wires because they're gonna get heat so i got a stainless steel cable tie right here which are legit 100 of them for like i think 10 bucks on ebay so let me prop this up and let's get started all right guys so let's get to this like i said i always kind of wrap it up and then uh get to it and all that stuff everywhere so i usually put this on works out actually i need to wet it in a second all right i'm back usually always wear clothes too that you're not going to want to take inside because it's going to be itchy usually fiberglass header wrap is pretty itchy so i'm going to need it to go here and then Kind of put some pressure there. I like the lines nice and tight. Put some pressure. And this is way easier to do when you have it out like this. Like, for example, over the O2 sensor, the header wrap I got on those headers. I believe I installed it. I think one of the was on. I think one I did out and it came out legit. The other one, the other one, not so much. And I honestly have, well, I should, probably gonna just finish it just because it's not gonna be enough for this other one here. 
And then this right here is it's close to some cables anyways. So I'm gonna put that one there. This one's gonna go here and then boom. So I've got my good old zip ties here. You wanna just kinda get some pressure on there. Make sure this is way easier outside the motor. Inside the motor. Pain in the butt. Well, that looks pretty good right there. Let me get one over here. Where I started. And I'm looking at my black gloves right now and you can see all the fire wheels. Right there. And that looks good. And then I get up. Got my mask. There's my handy pliers. Huh? Alright, got this. These here. Just kind of trim up the, the edge. Tricky cutting these stainless lines every now and then. To be honest, these dikes ain't the greatest anymore. But there it is, look at that. That's nice and tight. That should hold well. That should do what it's supposed to do. It's gonna be like this. Like I said, eventually I'll probably get some more right here, but for the most part, let me take this mask off. For the most part, let me get it. All right, guys, and that's wrapping this up. Not the hardest thing to do, but little things like this, right, are going to help you long run, keep some heat down, especially now that I got the headers up, you know, facing forward. Motor's already creating heat. All the exhaust gas is going to be coming through here. <laughs> and etc. So that header's good. This header's good. The merging pipe's good now. Mainly I was just concerned because the trans lines are going to go right over that. But secure with that. <laughs> secure with this. So that's uh, that's that with, with that. <laughs> now uh, oil filter plate is coming. Uh, you're going to see that very, very, very soon in, in a few seconds because uh, it's going to come in. And then once I put that in, I'm going to let you guys know if uh, if I'm going to have to relo relocate this bad boy here, this alternator or not. So let's see. And you have it, man. Subscribe, man. Please subscribe. Get me uh, get me up there I'm trying to get on this. We're trying to grow this channel. So, yep. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Like I said, uh, plates here, man. Uh, and it's working out much better than expected. Let me get underneath here. I was moving around. I had some tools. I didn't clean up. But if you guys can see, plates right here. This is what I was talking about. Uh, this is the Canton Racing product plate for the Gen 1, Gen 2 Coyote Motors. And the beautiful thing about this one on a Gen 2 is that you have a drain back, which is this one. Uh, which is legit. That means I don't got to tap into my oil pan and you'll get on it involved in that. <laughs> it's another couple of days that would have taken, to, you know, to tap in that, to take it off and then do what I got to do. <laughs> this thing has a drain back. Feed right here. This feeds the turbo. <laughs> this comes out the motor, I believe. Yeah, it comes out the motor. Uh, and this goes back into the motor. <laughs> okay, so outlet to my remote filter which is probably gonna be ran somewhere around here. I gotta figure out the one to put the bumper in where I can have it accessible. But basically it's gonna come out to the filter. Filter's gonna do its thing. It's gonna come out the filter, go to my oil cooler, which is gonna go on top of my intercooler, come back out the other side of the oil cooler and it's gonna go back in through in here. 
and that's gonna be my own. I already got the dimensions, turbos right there. I already got dimensions, uh, drains there, feeds there to see how much line I have, I need. But basically that cost me a lot. I mean, I'm not sorry, it cost me, <laughs> saved me a, a big, big process. If that plate was gonna have to make me relocate my, my uh, alternator, which is right there, I was gonna run the alternator here by power by the hour relocation kit. <laughs> which is which has still been nice you know it's up here comes with the band and everything you need but if i can avoid that that's that's 500 bucks plus tax that would have cost me to do that and do that whole movement and would have just added another now i can use that 500 bucks for my fuel system which i'm gonna need after i button all this thing down i ordered everything i need i ordered every fitting that i think i'm gonna need i ordered lines that as as long as i think i'm gonna need and I'm gonna get this thing fitted as quickly as I possibly can because it's there, you know? Overflow is gonna have to go over there because I'm gonna run some, I got my intercooler piping order, it's coming. I'm gonna modify that, make it all fit. Intercooler's in here. Uh, everything is looking good, guys. It really honestly is looking good. Like I said, as soon as that stuff comes in, I'm gonna button it down. I'm gonna make sure, you know, cut the hoses as long as I need to cut them, mount my overfoot to where I need to mount it. Do all those little things, get the uh, overflow seated, so that way as I'm getting the cash for the fuel system, <laughs> everything is getting situated. So as soon as that fuel system comes, all I got to do is pop it in because it's going to have injectors, fuel pumps. I got to run lines, regulator, <laughs> all that stuff. That's going to be situated. So this thing is started up, ready to rock. Uh, originally, I was going to go to the boost pump. Why? You know, why am I going to drop those? Even if I bought a used, say, 150 bucks and tune it right and run my fuel i figure you know what wait a little longer just a little longer and get the fuel system i need and i can knock it out in one shot right i can knock it out of that three four hundred bucks i was going to spend on the boost pump setup i could throw into my fuel system and i'm situated so it's, it's right around the corner guys it really really is i'm working extremely hard to get this mustang started maybe uh realistically my fuel system that i'm running it's going to cost me right around two grand. Uh, I'm going to run the on three system. I like, I'm, I'm liking that system. I like how it goes, uh, how it was ran. It's, it comes with the triple pump fuel hat. I'm only going to run two, but it's the uh, ability is there. You know, it's going to come with the, with the, with the PTFE lines. It's going to come with the fittings. It's going to come with the regulator. It's going to come with the fuel filter. I'm going to get some fuel injector clinic, uh, 1000 CC, uh injectors i know the 1200 is what everyone goes with but to be quite honest with you i am probably gonna run e85 here on the street but just for startup for testing purposes maybe i don't know we'll see i'm almost really still on on my on my gung-ho of running ms 109 exclusively this motor and the fuel system were able to flow more ms 109 uh, then E85, I think I'll be able to get more power with MS109 with my setup, with the fuel system I'm going with. And uh, and we'll go for that. I mean, I'm really only kind of just tracking the car now. Uh, E85 is, okay, we'll, we'll see. I'm throwing ideas out there and I'm talking to you guys, like if I'm having a conversation with you guys. But the, the, the point of the story here is the video is that this thing is getting buttoned down. Fuel system's going to come with I run E85 or MS109. That will be getting situated once I start getting closer and see what I really want to do. But the thing is, the Mustang is around the corner of getting this first start up. Hopefully, hopefully two weeks after this week is done because it's Sunday right now. Uh, two full weeks. Hopefully, I get everything in. Uh, but realistically, I'm giving myself to the end of February to get all this stuff situated. Hopefully, like I said, I'm working a lot sooner than that. Hopefully. But we'll see. We'll see. So other than that, guys... Thank you for tuning in. Canton Racing Products. You guys ever watched this video? Thank you so much, man. You guys really saved me a huge, huge thing to uh, to do. If, if, if I would have needed to do it, I would have done it, of course. But, you know, that plate comes with the drain back feet, all that stuff. I need. Other than that, thank you, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.